and it worked wow wow look at this guys have you seen me wearing a pink shirt before well now you do the market is flooded with AI coding tools right now, so which one is actually worth your time? If you want to go beyond prototypes and head into a production-ready app all in one platform, then you should probably check out Emergent. Emergent isn't just another AI site builder, it's the world's first agentic vibe coding platform, which means with its state-of-the-art multi-AI agent framework, you can chat with AI and get a full-stack app you can launch and scale from day one. In just two months, Emergent hit 10 million ARR, 10 million in annual recurrent revenue, and already has over a million people building with it. That's insane traction and a clear signal. This isn't just a gimmick. Users say Emergent feels less like a coding tool and more like having an entire dev team that handles the hard parts like integrations, testing, and deployment, while you focus on the idea. Yes, this is a tool for full stack production ready apps, not just UIs. And we're going to test it. Claims and hype aside, I want to see what it's really like. So in this video, we'll put Emergent to the test and try to build something useful from scratch. And I've talked. Let's dive. Deep. First thing I'll do is connect to GitHub, click connect to GitHub, install and authorize. GitHub is now connected. Let's see how Emergent can generate an app from a single idea. I have something big in mind, a business idea. I am going to create an app for fashion where a user can upload their photo that upload photos of clothes or outfits they plan to purchase. And the app will generate a photo showing what they will look like wearing those clothes. A try on app in a way, a try on visualizer if you wish. So I hope the idea is clear to you. I'm going to create a virtual try on visualizer and here is the plan for the app. I need the app itself, the front end, HTML structure, CSS styling, client side JavaScript, the powerful Nana Banana AI service, perfect for blending clothing images onto the user's photo, then the connector, API key and HTTP requests, and finally, a backend to make the app secure and monetizable. I'm going on Emergent and typing in my prompt, help me create a visualizer fitting room powered by Nana Banana, Sand, and Emergent is thinking. While the agent is running, I'd like to mention that my prompt was not as comprehensive as it could have been. I didn't mention paid plans, sign up, sign in functionality, or Stripe integration, but I did this intentionally. I want to start small and give additional prompts to Emergent later. Now the agent is asking for clarification and I'm providing my response to Emergent. The idea is to have a modern looking web app in dark blue colors with shark vibes. Using the Nana Banana model and the Gemini 2.5 flash image model, the Gemini API key will be stored securely on the backend server. The flow is simple. Users visit my app, register and pay a $5 monthly fee to use the image generator. Easy. Sent. I provided my response to the agent and emergent is now working on the app. It sounds simple, but there are a few key pieces that need to be put together. Remember, I'm building a legit product here and not a prototype. This app should be functional and real. The web app should be able to communicate with Nana Banana and Stripe seamlessly. While I'm waiting for the agent to finish, I'd like to mention a couple of important points about emergent. Emergent offers a native backend and no Superbase integration needed or external patchwork. It also offers a universal LLM key, no API setup hassle. You can even undo mistakes with rollback. Anyway, the agent just finished its work. Let's save to GitHub, save to GitHub. I'm going to create a new repo. Let's call it Shark Closet. Here's my repo on GitHub. Let's continue. I can see the app preview. First, let's work on the UI. I think it can be improved. Let's change the name to Shark Closet and re 
rearrange some of the elements. I just asked the agent to rearrange a few things. You can see my prompt on the screen. I want the logo and name changed as well as the main CTA renamed. Let's now test the app. I'm going to click on get dressed. Here I have the sign up form create and I'm now invited to complete the payment. This is where we need to provide Stripe API and secret keys. I'm going to my Stripe account and, and copying pasting my keys. I'm providing a margin with my Stripe API and secret keys and let's have Stripe completely set up. I shared my publishable and secret keys and the test key is being replaced by the agent. The backend is running successfully with the new live Stripe key according to Emergent. Great. Time to retest the app. All right, I updated the keys and added this background image to make it look more intriguing. Time to test two. My site is being placed on this preview domain, get dressed. Time to see if Stripe works. I filled out the payment form and the payment is processing. Great, we did that. This step is successful. Let's try to log in again and test the app. By the way, this is my Stripe account. As you can see, the payment just landed in my actual Stripe account, so it is working. I just logged in and I can see two sections, one for my photo and one for a new outfit. Let's do it. I'm dropping my picture here and choosing this pink shirt to test and try on. Well, the result is off. I think there might be something wrong with the prompt. I need to update the instructions so the core of the instruction tells the model to replace the clothing area while preserving all other elements. You can see my prompt. I'm asking Emergent to make the output preserve the subject's pose, lighting and background while making the person realistically wear the new item. Let's see if it fixes the issue. And the issue is fixed. Let's try it that again and it worked wow wow look at this guys have you seen me wearing a pink shirt before well now you do i'm going to click on new try on and do it again i'm uploading another photo and this blue fur coat and here i am sharking around on my profile page i can see my subscription and expiration date i can obviously add additional functions and enhance the app but the goal was to show how it works there is one last thing i want to do i want to deploy it on my custom domain i have this ivankv.com domain that i will try to use let's do it i'm clicking on the share button and here i can keep my app on the default domain which is great since i don't need to do much or i I can deploy it on my custom domain. Let me click on deploy now, start deployment. Deployment is now in progress. It has been completed and I'm going to link my custom domain. Link domain, configure with entry. Entry automatically detected my Cloudflare. Let's quickly authorize it. And ivankv.com is now configured. As you can see, my app is now on a custom domain and you can go to ivankv.com to test the app if of course you have five dollars a month for the subscription that was a joke Emergent impressed me with its precision in executing tasks and connecting multiple critical pieces together. Anything from testing to API integration to one-click deployment to repo pushes to GitHub. It all worked smoothly. I was quite happy to be able to create a real product from scratch just by using prompts and giving my directions to Emergent. If you want to turn your idea into a profitable business using Emergent, you can feel free to find the link in the description, create something cool and let me know what it is. Leave your comments in the comment section. I'm done for now and I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out.